Hi, welcome to a new video here at the Betty Loves Bricks channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Owlery, the Hogwarts Owlery and the Hogwarts Boat House. These are new sets, they came out last month together with the, with the brand new Hagrid's Hut. You can watch that video right here. And today I just wanted to show you guys what these sets are about uh, because I think they make a wonderful addition to my modular Hogwarts castle. The first set I want to show you is the Lego Hogwarts Castle Boathouse. This is a set that consists of 350 bricks. It is for ages 8 and higher. It's $38. As you can see, it's a lovely build. It's a, it's a standalone build and it comes with this little dark blue base plate resembling the water. And then on top of that is a lovely little boat house. It has some rock pieces, some sea elements. As you can see, there are no Technic pins. So there is nothing here that would suggest that it, that it is part of the modular castle. And then you have this little tower. You have little leafy elements, as well as mushrooms, a tree, a little fish squirting out of the ocean, a spider, and it also comes with an owl. I love these little flames here, but also it actually looks as if the boathouse platform is built on like wooden poles. It is so full of details. Also, these paddle elements are attached here on the side. With the set, you also get Professor McGonagall, and as you can see, she's holding this list with students that will be arriving. So with the set come two little boats, lantern posts on the front, the boats we've seen before in other uh, Lego sets as well. Next to McGonagall, you also get Hermione, you get Neville, you get Dean Thomas and you get Harry, but look at their robes. They all have the standard black issue Hogwarts robes, no emblems, no house references, because this set is referring to their very first arrival at Hogwarts. So these students have not been sorted into their houses yet. I have to say for such a small set with so few pieces, I think they've done a real excellent job. And we're gonna make a fine addition to the castle. And then the second set is the Hogwarts Castle Owlery. It has 364 pieces. The sales price is 45 dollars, 45 euros. And this set is also for ages eight and higher. But can you guys just look at this magnificent Hogwarts Owlery? It is a huge tower and it has a lot of snowy details because it is referring to the fourth Harry Potter book and movie. The Goblet of Fire and this tower has a crucial role for Harry and his love interest Cho Chang. It is one, two, three, four, five stories high. There is a stairway going all the way up from the base into the tower. Look at this little art balcony here. From the front you can see several owls flying in and out of the tower, another balcony, and all these little details. They make such a nice resemblance to an actual like birdhouse or owlery. So with this set, you get one, two, three, four big owls and one little baby owl. It is so cute. And then you also have the statue here of an owl. And there also is a hidden reference in the floor plan with another owl. So you basically get seven owls in this set. Now what I particularly love about this space is that this is a turning table. So as you can see, there's like some eye loops in here, which are little owl treats. There's a little owl treat right next to it. I think a little cage. Well, I think this resembles a little water bowl and then that little baby owl. Also a lot of greens incorporated into the builds, trees, uh, and of course, little snowy elements. I also love these little letters that seem to have like fallen all over the place. I have to say it's pretty awesome. A little lost cookie and not a spider. So I don't know if that's a new theme or something, but I think it's pretty cool that you get a lot of additional elements. And then to keep the place tidy and clean, you get Argus Filch, Cho Chang and Harry Potter, because this is the place where he asks Cho if she wants to go to the Yule Ball with him. 
I have to say it is a fantastic little piece and now let me show you guys how I'm going to integrate it into my Hogwarts modular castle. Now here is my grand Hogwarts modular castle. I've shown it to you guys before and meanwhile I've made another mock as you can see right here. There's an extra element that has been added which I will do a video of very soon so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to watch that one. And up here in front of the bridge is where we can now place the boathouse. So that is adding a lot to the scene as you can see. And then all the way here at the back behind Ravenclaw Tower is now an extra spot available to add in that owlery. And yes, there is a difference in the, uh, the roof. I I'm not sure, I might just keep it like this for now. But who knows, if I get annoyed by the gray rooftops, I might just swap out the plates and the cone towers by sand green element rather than keeping the, the gray one. But this is already adding so much more to the castle. So let me know what you guys think of this modular castle so far. So yes, those were two fantastic little sets that make a wonderful contribution to my Hogwarts modular castle, the boathouse and the owlery. I'm so glad that Lego has brought these out. The only downside is the pricing because they are a bit on the more expensive sides, especially if you compare it right next to Hagrid's hut, which had a very good price value for the amount of bricks that you were getting. But let me know what you guys think of these sets. Have you maybe also purchased these, you know, as standalone or also as an addition to your own Hogwarts? Please share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe yourself to this channel because I will be back with more Lego reviews, more Lego news. So thank you for watching and till next time. Ciao.